It's the spaces between the notes that you play is where the magic of this piano lies. Hello, you join me underneath the top of a Yamaha CLP 795 GP. That is the Yamaha CFX Concert Grand, the default piano in this instrument. And when you're playing with headphones, it sings. It absolutely sings. Only brushing the keys there, but there's so much uh, tonal variation going on. You can vary how much you play and really get a response from it. Let's change to the Bosendorfer Imperial Grand. Listen to the differences, much mellower, much woodier, much softer.
when you're playing full chords, something a bit deeper, uh, the Bosendorfer seems to come together and allow you to paint a, uh, a richer tone. I really like it. Personally, my style of playing, uh, very chordy, I like it. It gives it uh, a little bit of variation, and the, the Yamaha is a little bit brighter. Let's go back to the Yamaha again. exactly the same with Bosendorfer. Back to Yamaha. Rosendorfer again. Let's go back to Yamaha again. And the variation it allows is quite phenomenal. Again, play it with headphones because you can really hear the nuances in there and the subtlety from the, from the tinkering right at the top where there is a bell-like resonance to uh, a much more chocolatey bass end on there as well. So we'll go back to Bosendorfer, but this time let's put in, let's combine it with some strings as well.
Let's go back to the Bosendorfer again. So I'm going to give you the chance again to hear uh, what's happening in between the notes that I'm playing because that's where the real beauty of this piano comes through. And this sampling technology is this virtual resonance modeling that they have in this piano is so good at uh, bringing out the color of, uh, of playing piano. You don't have to be uh, a great player to be able to sit at this and, and experience what it's like to be at the face of a concert grand piano. harder now. So it's just a joy to play because <clears throat> you can lean on the piano, you can heavily, you can lean on it, you can just brush it as gently as anything and it gives you the feedback, it gives you the response. Uh, that's what you get from a top of the range clavinova like this. So uh, let's try some of the other sounds on here because it's not just the um, Yamaha CFX Concert Grand and the Bosendorfer. We have some different ones too. Uh, one of them is an upright piano, which again, the character is totally different. So much, much brighter. Um, it, actually, through headphones, I rather miss having all that tonal variation and that depth. But then it depends what you're playing, doesn't it? If you want something that's a bit brighter, then upright piano will do the trick. Um, and then we've got a, a few different variations of the Yamaha Grands. This one is called Studio Grand.
doctor. That one's got a little bit, uh, a few more teeth to it, I think, that one. Good for pop songs or something that cuts through the mix of a band a little bit more. Uh, this one is called Bright Grand. Again, a bit softer than the Studio at Grand. A good sort of intermediate step there. Here I come to change the cameras. Here I come to change the camera. Onto the Mellow Grand, which I'd expect sounds very, very soft. tell you and I know I keep going on about it but playing through headphones is quite an experience um, binaural, binaural sampling is what it's called and the technology is very clever at making you feel like you're actually sat at the face of a grand piano because you feel very connected to the notes that you're playing um, as I play it as I play up on the right hand side and on the on the bass end I, the sound is not just coming from those directions, but it, it feels very, very natural. Um, and it allows you to be immersed in your playing and in the sound um, without disturbing anyone, of course, because wearing headphones. But it's very impressive. Come to our showroom if you can and try one of these pianos because that's a, a very, very nice feature. Uh, Ballad Grand is the next voice. This one's really singing out on the treble end there. Did you hear that? I mean, you, can, you can almost picture the strings uh, vibrating in harmony through the whole length of the cabinet. The whole experience of losing yourself in a piano, in a grand piano, is simulated so well. It's so authentic, uh, and you really can do that thing that pianists love to do with pianos, no matter your standard, is just connect with it and let your emotions flow through the strings and out of you 
and it's just a lovely experience to play. So uh, another variation here is the warm grand piano. So this will be a different model of Yamaha grand piano. Uh, let's see what this one sounds like. Then on to Pop Grand, which I presume will be a little bit Elton Johnny, a bit brighter. as expected, a little bit brighter, uh, jazz grand. Great for doing big colourful chords like that. grand and that's going that's much much toothier that'll cut through the mix of a band much better honky-tonk piano so for those of you that want a, um, a, a Joplin-esque piano you've got one there
It's the spaces in between the notes that you play. It's the spaces between the notes that you play is where the magic of this piano lies. It's like you're ringing a bell and letting it resonate and you can hear it going around, swelling around the cabinet uh, and it feels like an instrument of music and you can really get yourself immersed in it.